Do you think it's wrong for men to care about a partner's sexual past? So, for example, a body, a woman's body count. Do you think it's wrong for men to care about a, a potential partner's body count? Hensley. I don't think it's good to necessarily be biased about it. You know, like I, I've definitely like I don't know if y'all have seen the video where it's like you go and ask men like how many bodies is okay and they'll be like two or three and you go ask women and they'll be like well as long as they were safe and they're tested you know it really doesn't matter so i'd say like if you want to be really like skeptical about a woman's body count that's fine but you better have a low body count as well kelly i agree you can't be skeptical skeptical about someone's body count if yours is like way up there I, I just got to hop in here because the issue with that statement is that girls want experienced guys. So you're going to be attracted to a man that has lots of experience, which is going to mean that he's been with many women. That's the only issue. So do guys want unexperienced women? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you don't, don't, you don't want, believe, do not believe that? I don't want... So you want like children, what? No, I, I don't... Oh, she said inexperienced? Inexperienced. You want unexperienced. Yes. Oh, I thought you said experienced. No, no, no. Both no. you guys were like, yes. And I was no, no, like, bro, no, no. is no, no. what? Inexperienced. No, she said inexperienced. Oh, yeah. Yes. Women. That's yeah. what we want. Yeah. So like, why? Yeah. yeah elaborate. Because that's an interesting take. Well, it, I mean, it, it's... See, this is where we have to kind of learn about like what the opposite genders want, right? Because... We, we want inexperienced women so we can be the ones that sort of show them because they want us, they want us to show them. Like you, you girls want a man who has experience, who's better in the bedroom, who, who knows how to talk with girls, to take them out on dates, operate, all that type of stuff. That's really attractive. I'll give you a concise answer. Two reasons. First reason, I don't want a woman who I've shared with a bunch of other dudes. Wow. Exactly. You no, say, we you don't, say wow? But I guys don't wow. want that. Why is that a wow? Because the world is just way different than I thought it was. It's kind of sad. Wow. That's crazy. No, but this is realistic. This no, is, it's realistic. I'm just, that's yeah. how I take it. That's yeah. Wow. yeah. Yeah. A, a lot of, yeah. a lot of guys feel this way too. Yeah, I know. And that's the first sad. reason. That's the yeah. first, it's not sad. That's the yeah, first reason. No, it's not sad. Mm -hmm. That's the first reason. I don't want a girl who is the town bicycle. I don't want a woman who's been ran through. I don't want a, a, a girl who's been with a ton of dudes wow. and I'm not a guy who's slept with a ton of women. Mm -hmm. Second reason, and this is kind of a neutral thing when it comes to the sex is pair bonding, right? So the data is clear. I know you probably won't believe the data, but the data is clear. The more people someone sleeps with, yeah. the higher their chances of getting divorced. Yeah. So if you've only had one partner or if you were a virgin when you got married, the data shows that you have a less than 5% chance of getting divorced. Once the number of sexual partners you've had goes above 15, the chances that you're gonna get divorced are above 50%. I, I want to have a healthy and strong marriage and I want to decrease the odds that I'm going to get divorced. When people sleep with more and more people, I think it blunts their hormonal pair bonding, excuse me, pair bonding response, right? So, so when you have sex, you release oxytocin. I think the more people that you have sex with, the harder it is to release oxytocin when you're pair bonding with somebody. And I'll give you an example. I spoke with a guy. A guy, one singular guy. I've spoken with many men about this. Mm. Okay, and, and they've- Not they've, all of them though. But they've, okay. they've, they've, they've attested that mm. this is true, but I spoke with a the guy who had- The friend group, what the guys- Hold on, Chase, I'll, I'll let you finish this. One in the chat, mm. if you want a girl with a low body count, two in the chat if you want a girl with a high body Here's count. The data. Here's the data. So just yeah. so you can get yeah, this is a great question. Just so you can get some more male input on this. Anyways, chat, uh, Chase, if you want to continue. Yeah. Or, so so. Wow, some, that's that's. Look a at lot. the ones. Chat getting lit up with ones. Almost everybody wants okay. women with lower <laughs> body <laughs> counts. We know you want to fuck. It's okay. We know. Did you just accuse them of wanting to fuck? Wanting to fuck like unexperienced what? people, like that's just so like you specifically. A guy wanting a virgin, that, you're saying yeah. makes him a file. Kind what? of. In a this sense, has been the yeah. standard throughout that's crazy. all of human history. And is it this has right? been the standard no, throughout all of not human history. Necessarily, that's wild. It's not you, wild. Wait, it's how all of humanity has existed up until now. You've never heard even guys in your friend group or just you've never heard guys say that they have a preference for women who have low body counts? Like, you've never heard this I've before? I've heard it, but, like, the, the mentality behind it is kind of just, like, 
oh, you're used. Another guy had you first, so you're used. Like, that's crazy to think of a human that way. Like, you're used because you have, like, you guys aren't used when you have sex. Like, what is the difference? Because you don't see it the same way. You, you like it. You like when we have experience. Yeah, and the difference, too, is that it's, it's, it's extremely easy for women to have sex. All you would have to do is go out onto yeah. Del yeah. Playa and be outside. like, hey, you want to have sex? A bunch of guys will have sex with you. It's not the same for men. It's, it's hard to- for men it's totally to get different. laid. It's hard for men to get laid. It's very easy for women to get laid. So it's not, it's not like if for a guy to get laid, he has to be providing something. He's bringing some sort of value. Whereas for women, like you just kind of show up and you can get laid. It's very easy. You can get it at the drop of a hat. But to, so. finish, to finish the point I was making, I spoke with this guy. He said he slept with over 150 women. It's almost impossible for him to feel a deep connection when he sleeps with a girl now. And it just proves my point. The pair bonding becomes harder. So the more women, you know, my future wife, or the more men my future wife has slept with, the more difficult I think it'll be for her and I to build a deep bond through sex. And like somebody else said, that, that sex is in a healthy relationship, part of the glue that holds it together. And if she's, if she slept with a bunch of guys or if a guy has slept with a bunch of women, it's going to make it harder for the two of them to have a solid, successful relationship. Yeah. And also, I don't think that many girls can sort of even fathom the idea of how it feels for a man knowing that a bunch of diff- other dudes were inside of you. Like <laughs> terrible. It is the <laughs> worst. Terrible. It is the worst feeling. Yeah, it is the worst feeling. I don't think girls can relate to that feeling, which is part of the issue. But there are there are definitely we don't see women. Men as objects. What'd you say? Because we don't see men as objects. Because obviously, what, what you what? just are saying is you don't want anyone else to taint your thing. It's like crazy to me. I feel this like is, there's some girls who think the same way. Like they don't want. There's a lot. Yeah. 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 There's and a that's lot. Awesome. That's that's what I was about to say. Is that there's definitely women who can have this exact same standard too. It hap- I think it happens to be the case that women care about it less than men do but there are certainly women out there that don't want a super promiscuous partner yeah i know plenty of women that don't want dudes that have just been completely run through but that wasn't the question super promiscuous it was like completely unexperienced well, that was the question but anyway well the less experienced the better okay yeah the less experienced the better okay i can, we can ask i, I want to ask you guys this question and we can ask chat too chat you have a choice for a, even for even for just a one night stand, would you rather hook up with a girl who's a virgin or a girl who slept with 50 guys? Even for a one night stand. I don't know, I don't know if, if I should do ones and twos for this. Wait, can I add a stipulation? What's the stipulation? The girl who slept with 50 guys, it's gonna be the best sex you've ever had. Uh, I don't know if that's a fair stipulation. And also, I think the one thing that's wrong too is if she is a virgin, don't just sleep with her and like toss her aside like value that it should probably be more than a one night stand right but if that's what's on the table if that's like, what's on even, the table even in the the scenario where it's just sex so supposedly i would feel bad i would feel bad for doing that to yeah. a virgin. but okay i think you're yeah. a, you're yeah, a, yeah, 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 but like yeah yeah <laughs> but what i mean would you rather okay let's say the girl who's had who slept with one other guy versus it, a girl who's then slept obviously with that girl yeah 50. but yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Not fifty. The the, the one with one. With of one. Course, yes. Chase. Yes. Well, you're you're waiting till marriage, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, I, if if I wasn't waiting for marriage, honestly, I'd probably want what Hensley said. But if if it's a girl with like a fifty body count, I'm not gonna touch it anyways. <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> you just you just had to take that as a sexist comment. You just said you wouldn't touch it. Well, I think he meant it as in the sex. Her, I wouldn't touch her anyways. I, yeah, no, I, I, think, did. I, think I did, I did, like I meant it, it as in the sex. as in the sex, not, not it as in her. I'm not touching it, I'm not going near it. And is that, is that f- correct, Chase? You meant it as in the sex? Yes, exactly. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. She doesn't just become an it because she slept with 50 dudes. She's, she's still, still a she's person. She's still a human being, yes. okay? You don't have but, to look at everything I say through this lens of like sexism and all this stuff. Let me add one what more. What you know you're doing. I just, Picked up on what I heard. Yeah, okay. let, yeah. Let me also add one other reason why someone with a low, actually two other reasons why someone with a low body count is, is something that men value. One is obviously the STD thing. If you have a high body count, then the, there's a greater likelihood, the more sexual partners you've had, there's a greater likelihood that you, you could have an STD. The second thing is 
is it's an evolutionary biological thing for men to prefer sexual purity in women, to prefer women with a zero body count or a very low body count. And the reason for that is fertility. Sorry, sorry, not fertility. That's another thing. The reason for that is um, paternity. So a woman who is promiscuous, if she's slept with a bunch of guys and then you get with her, and this is like in an evolutionary context, if she has a child back in the caveman days, you cannot guarantee who the father is if she's sleeping with a bunch of men. So evolutionarily, men have a hard wiring to prefer strong preference for sexual purity in women. It's a biological evolutionary hardwired thing. Just, just like how women have, there's evolutionarily, evolutionary biologic, biological hardwirings that they find attractive in men. Height, for example, large, larger physical stature, these sorts of things. This is an evolutionary thing that women I care about. I know, we learned it in evolution. Also, right, but I'm trying to explain to you why men care about. No, I understand that, but when you like devalue a woman because of that, that's the part that is like, but people, anyways. People devalue and value people all the time based on any number know, of factors. I know, it's really sucky. And paternity it's fraud, normal, it's fine. paternity fraud is a real thing yeah. that's much more common than I think many people realize. It can be anywhere between 5% to 20% of uh, the... Uh, father that's raised the kids is not the biological father and that's a really sad thing is yeah. that really how high it is at it's the 20 percent. it's a shocking percent it's it pretty high holy location. shit dude yeah. Yeah. bruh yeah i'm i'm curious what the ladies think yeah did, you... did everyone get to give their take on the body count thing i don't even remember what the original question was well, the, do they think men want do they think men care about body count? Was that it? No, the original question was just, would they take issue with a guy or is right. it wrong? Do you think it's wrong if a guy cares about a partner's sexual past? Did you guys answer? Yeah, so I- I mean, I, I think it's valid. Like, I would probably want the same thing. You know? Okay, what about you? I feel like they shouldn't care. The guys should not care about body count. Okay, fair. And then Chun-Li, what do you think? Oh, sorry, what was the question again? Uh, if, if, if is, it, is it wrong for oh, guys to care about um, body count? No, because you think about like sexual health, it's valid. You know, you don't want you don't want to be passing around diseases. Excellent right. point. Yeah, diseases, and again, it's it's like not even the disease part. That's like even second. It's just the fact that you gave yourself up to so many guys so easily. I think that it's wrong to value that over the disease part. I think that's what's wrong. Is that you shouldn't think like, oh, she's she's really experienced that's so bad i think you should more consider like oh you know she's, she's well it's going to lead to like more more than likely it's going to lead to a relationship that's unstable i'm going to then be dealing with all of her baggage from all of the previous men that she was with yep but what what baggage like women what women fall in love so easily with men when they have sex with them mm -hmm. I, i've met so many girls that like just never could get over that one ex mm -hmm. that that you know they slept with and was the best they ever had that's so common in women and if they don't if they're having lots of sex and then they remove emotion by that time it's far too late then they're totally screwed then it's like they've had 10 partners 20 partners whatever and they can't pair bond pair bond with their the guy that they're with now so. yeah all right, by the way, guys, we're gonna wrap up here soon in about 10 minutes, so get your last minute super chats in if you want. I had, um, a, I had a question for them sure, on go the ahead. body count thing. Would chase. you guys, if you had a preference, or if you had the choice between you know, a long-term partner, maybe, I know you don't wanna get married, but like a marital prospect, if you had the choice between a guy with a high body count, we're talking 50 plus versus a lower body count, which would you guys prefer? Hensley, do you want to go first? Uh, this doesn't really answer your question, but I just, I wouldn't ask. It, it's really just like... So you don't care? How, yeah, how well uh, they could treat me sexually. Let, 